With us now is the Conservative MP Harriet Baldwin, who's on the Work and Pensions Select Committee, and three people who all have experience of unemployment and government work schemes, Khalid O'Byrne, Chris Brace, and Ewan Natty. Well, now, um, do you understand why some people find these schemes offensive? Well, I think you've got to understand where we came from. So uh, in terms of the inheritance of a lot of young people out of work, the um, situation used to be that if you were a young person and you were offered work experience, you had to come off benefits. And I actually think that's profoundly unfair and, and against social mobility because, in fact, a lot of prosperous parents can afford for their kids to do some work experience and, and lose those benefits, whereas those who rely on the benefits really needed to keep them while they got that work experience. Do you so understand we've switched my that question round. was why some people find this offensive? I think that it's very unfortunate that it's been portrayed. I think it's been very um, uh, offensive that it's been portrayed by a, a lot of people as being something that doesn't help young people. Because you know, well, Jerry, in not, an organisation like the BBC that may employs help, a lot uh, of people, it on may or work may not experience. help some people. And we've contradictory experiences here. Help some doesn't help others. If you're an employer but and you're offered the choice, the question is: my question yeah. is, do you understand why some people find it offensive? that somebody can be taken on, not be paid to do a job which would otherwise earn at least the minimum wage and be paid by the state and the, the employer is able to use unpaid labour. Do you understand that? Does the BBC offer work experience placements I'm, for, I'm for asking, students? You don't. You it's, don't. It's it doesn't widely bother you. used it doesn't bother for you. these short work placements. So now, of course, these are very right. short work placements. Okay. All of you three have had experience of these schemes of one kind or another. It worked in your case, didn't it, yeah. Keller de Byrne? Yeah. Tell us what happened. Well, my experience of um, volunteering was, it's not necessarily the scheme that's going out now, and I wasn't forced into it. I actually went out and applied for a scheme called V Talent, where I was working for a year within youth services. And that was something that I was passionate about. And throughout that course, I was um, guided, I was helped, I was given qualifications, I was given certificates, I was helped at the end of it on getting a job. So um, what was it, it was about it, about being on a course like that, yeah. in that sort of environment, that yeah. changed things for you? I think because it was something that I was passionate about and because it was voluntary, I think if you're forced into it, I think it will be negative, I think it will have knock-on effects, I think that it will give you a negative um, view on the work environment itself. And right. I think if you're not passionate about work, why, um, why, why would they do it? I think there should be more things um, have voluntary. You, have you had experience of one of these schemes? I've had experience of one of these and? schemes. It was a complete waste of my time. Four weeks, uh, well, if you get on to uh, phase two job seeking, which is the point where you're put into these schemes, then you have uh, four weeks absolutely mandatory. You have no choice. Doesn't that at least get you into the habit, I've with the greatest of respect, with, with of the getting out of of respect, bed and going to a place of work? With the greatest of respect, I had eight years' experience previous to this of actually getting up and going for a job. And, and we mustn't confuse two things, which are workfare, which is, I think, what Chris is talking about, I, talking, and short periods of work experience for about, very young people. I'm talking about both schemes. I've done the four-week mm. scheme in the past. I'm now on the 26-week scheme. Mm. Both of them were equally ineptly handled. Mm. Inept in what sense? Um, they don't seem to... Uh, well, firstly, uh, anyone who's involved in it gets uh, dragged off to do things by force, basically. Uh, secondly, uh, they administered badly. Again, I think we're confusing two things here because the work experience that was getting all the media attention today is for young people who are given short periods of experience so that they can have something on their CV to show to employers. Okay, now you are a young person. Have yeah. you done any of these schemes? Yes, um, actually the work program is a re-established program because it was run by a company called Call the UK previously and I was under a flexible new deal and I signed to the program and in about nine months of the program, the company got liquidated because they failed miserably in getting people employed. And when you look at the current figures, statistically now, 
it was from 2.3 million now to about 6.3 million. Yeah. So Let's talk about your experience. Yes. The argument, I think, is, if I paraphrase it correctly, uh, is that at the very least, although the precise employment may be not exactly what you want, it at yeah. least gets you into the habit of going to work and having re-establishing a work habit. No, it didn't get me into the habit of going for, for work. What it actually did was to demotivate me because it took away my equal opportunity of rights where something is imposed on you, where you're, com you're compelled to do something and you don't have the freedom.